Hey brother, it's Dan with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. I wanted to give you four simple distinctions when we're talking about creating connection in a relationship, being able to understand what the person that you're with, whether it's a date, first, first time you're meeting somebody, or whether you're in a long-term relationship or whatever. We always want to be able to have as much information as we can get, right? So you have as much context so that you can respond to the situation confidently and know how you want to, how you want to move forward, what decisions you want to make. And so being able to understand what the other person is feeling is really key. It's almost like, you know, imagine if somebody came up with a patent for empathic specs. You could put them on and you could see what the other person was feeling, what was going on with them inside, what's happening inside, what's the inside story, right? There's always something going on, an inside story inside us, an inside story inside her. In that interaction between us, there's stuff going on. And so being able to understand what that is gives you a huge amount of information to then choose how you want to move forward. So the distinctions I want to give you today is there's four different ways that a woman is giving you feedback. She is always giving you feedback about how she's feeling. The problem is that we often get stuck on the words that she's using and really we want to be able to understand what's the feeling underneath it or what's the internal story that's going on behind it, right? Because that gives the additional context for you to be able to understand. A woman who is giving you feedback with an open heart. This is, she can tell you honestly and openly how she's feeling, both good and bad, positive and negative, and she's not afraid of how you're gonna receive it. She just knows what she's feeling and wants to share that with you. That's open-hearted feedback. Then you have closed-hearted feedback. Closed-hearted feedback is there's something going on in her world, right? And so she's wanting to share with you how she's feeling, but She's under pressure in some way. Inside, there's a story that's concerning her, and it could be a fear or needing to control stuff or whatever it is. It's causing the feedback that's coming from her to come out under pressure. And so oftentimes this comes out with a certain tone. It can sound like complaining or nagging, sometimes even goes into shaming, but really it's much more about the pressure that's inside and how that's coming out. And then the third option is with a confused heart. Well, with a confused heart is, and I heard a woman talking about this on her phone with her mother the other day, and she was saying, talking about her husband and saying, he gets upset and he, he thinks I'm disrespecting him when I'm trying to tell him how I'm feeling. But I find it really hard to be able to tell him because he gets upset all the time. And sometimes I have no idea what it is that I'm actually feeling. And I'm trying to put words to it, but I can't quite describe it in the way that one makes sense to me. I'm working out how I'm feeling as I'm talking, as I'm telling him, I'm working out how I'm feeling, but I can't really explain it, right? And so this is the confused heart. And so she, again, she's unsure about connecting, wants to connect, but is unsure about it and is nervous of our reaction. And there can be all sorts of reasons for that. But again, the main thing is, it's not that she doesn't want to tell you, it's that she's a bit unsure and there's various different reasons. But in this case in particular, it's all about, I, I can't actually really decipher it for myself. Not clearly. And so I can't give you that direct, clear feedback. And the last one is with a hidden heart. And with a hidden heart is, connection has become unsafe, right? So, so now she's not open to connection. In fact, she's not open to sharing her feelings at all. She doesn't feel safe to share her feelings for whatever reason, right? Whether this is stuff to do with the history of the relationship or stuff to do with herself and how she feels things have gone when she's shared her feelings in the past. Now she doesn't feel safe to be able to share how she's feeling. She doesn't feel safe because she might think it's going to upset you or she doesn't feel safe because she thinks that maybe it's going to end up with her feeling wrong about how she's feeling. So that's it. They're locked away in a box. I'm no longer going to share those feelings. Doesn't mean forever, but that's where she is right now. This is the kind of thing that we do. We give you useful information to be able to understand what's going on. And the nice thing about it is that 
As Steve said in the last video, the best place for you to learn and grow as a man, to be vulnerable, to live open-hearted, to know how to be more powerful in the relationships that you're in and having with women, is to be around other men on the same path, right? Men who will also show up and challenge you and support you and question you and, and have the same questions themselves and want support and challenge and all that sort of stuff. If you have any questions, just contact Dan at Good Guys to Great Men. Okay, take care guys, bye.